Welcome on back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew and we're back in Transport Fever on Leo Gaming. And um, you can already tell right here that I have the game paused and it is the first of the year 1921. In the last episode I said that I would go ahead and jump forward to, at first I said 2021, but no we're not going to skip over 100 years. We actually skipped just about a year and a month, okay? And from that time, we went from about 25 million to 37.9 million, okay? Now, there are a lot of things that I want to get done in this episode. One of those things being that I want to expand the production circle, okay? As we all know, we have production going on around Sandhurst leaning towards trying to get goods going on okay then we have production going around Askern and Mexboro to get tools and machines going on and now we got tools and machines being shipped out to all destinations we got goods kind of being shipped out to all destinations but we still have a tremendous backlog okay just over at the lumber mill we have almost over almost 400 units of lumber waiting for the lumber line over at the iron ore mine we have over 150 iron ore waiting to be transported steel is not too much think thankfully tools however are over a hundred and this episode, I want to go in and get that taken care of. Like, for instance, if you can see right here, what is happening is that our tools and machines factory is um, not only shipping its materials in to Mexboro, but it's also shipping in its materials via the boat line, then via the lumber, uh, by, via the plank line, my bad over to the goods factory and that's being distributed to both White Hill, Sandhurst, and Askern. I want to fix that, okay? I want to fix that so that way I can go ahead and get things moving. Now I haven't paid off any of our loan, we still have $30,000 $30, taken out for our loan, which is our max loan right now. And since it is the first of the month, we are still in a negative. Last year alone, we made over $15 million. That's a tremendous amount to be had, okay? This year, I want to do a mega expansion, and I think I'm going to do that in the form of a time lapse. So, I hope you guys will like it. It won't be too long, but still, we'll get a lot of work done. See you guys in a minute.
Okay, so I guess you guys can probably figure out what exactly I just set up here. I haven't set up any sort of lines or anything like that, but as you can tell, we now have a distribution network. Not only a distribution network, but also a network that provides the material for us. Okay, so here are how it works. Then, um, Machines and tools will be dropped off here at this cargo station, okay? It'll be shipped out to Sandhurst, uh, White Hill, even up to Beamminster, Askern, Mexboro, uh, Heitherley, Kingston, and Acton, okay? And that's going to be done just by using two lines, okay? Now I say two because of the fact that we are going to make it basically a mega cargo distribution network. Okay, It's going to have almost all forms of cargo that you can think of. The only uh, line that's going to have just one form of cargo is the one that basically goes from White Hill to Acton. Okay? Because it's not stopping at anywhere else other than here to pick up any cargo. Okay, Makes sense. The other line, this one, will have both um, open wagons for the iron ore, steel, or a state car for the steel, and then goods wagons for the, um, basically the tools and machines. And before I forget, I forgot to do this in the time lapse. Um, yeah, here we go. Now I have tested this out before, and but I haven't tested it as far as putting trains on it. But I have a feeling it will work pretty well. So let's go ahead and get those lines started up here. I want to get like the, uh, the longer line of the two started first. Which it's going to actually be the um, Acton or the White Hill line. Come on. Okay. Back to there. Bring you into Mexboro. Then Hatherley, in Kingston, then Acton. Okay, then that will bring you back to the um, distribution network. Okay, so there's line uh, the first line, second line. We'll again start here in Mexboro, make our way out to Sanders, then up to Beamminster. Uh, back to Mexboro. Uh, we want to skip these two stations because we're not stopping there on our way out to Askern. Then take it out to Askern, stop at the iron ore mine, and then the steel uh, steel material steel plant. And it should be running on both sides of the track. Interesting, interesting. Um, the Mexboro transfer, I want you on my um yeah there we go there we go i think it was just the side that i decided to click on oh well so that is going to be our network as you can see they are not crossing path with any lines whatsoever except for of course the road lines so that's a granite right there okay so uh off of that note um let's go ahead and get some trains running on there okay now, I have kind of thought about what trains I want to use on here, but it's kind of debatable about what to use because there are plenty of locomotives that we can choose from, 
especially the crocodile because we just unlocked that this year that's the reason that i said that i'm gonna wait till 19 uh skip forward actually till 1921 because that's the year that the crocodile becomes unlocked it's a heavy freight locomotive and basically even though it is a slow moving vehicle it is actually able to carry basically triple well two or maybe three times more than the GWR trains because as you can see its power for horsepower is about 1600 just the um, 3700 for the GWR that's not even hitting a thousand so you can already see that not only will it be able to carry and support a lot more weight on it but it will also be able to speed up a little bit faster okay so I will use a crocodile and yes, all of the tracks are electrified. So we don't have to worry about that. So crocodile, um, I want to go ahead and get the iron ore, steel, and uh, basically the second one that we created. Okay. So we want some open wagons. I think, what? Maybe five will do. One, two, three, four, five. And then we also want state cars. Um, five more. One, two, three, four, five. And then we want some good wagons, which uh, I'd say five again. Uh, yeah. Two, three, four, five. And that should be good. How much do you cost now? 8.7 million. That's not too bad, actually. That is not too bad at all. In fact, I don't think I've seared any lines or se uh, severely impacted any lines as far as them being unable to make a profit right now. So I think I'm going to go in and let the game run so that way we can get money as well. Uh, I'm going to place you, uh, first actually copy you, and can I copy you one, once more? Yeah, I'll wait to copy you again and place both of you on line three, which I am now going to rename the Mexboro dish, uh, Mexboro distributions, uh, distribution line, uh, distribution line one. Oh, that's for the one that goes for between um, White Hill and Acton. And then this one is Mexboro distribution um, line two. Okay. Did I spell that right? Oh. I spelled it right on this one, but I didn't spell it right on the other one, so I'll change that in a moment. Okay. And distribution. Now that that is taken care of, you don't have to worry about that. And we're already up to 12 million. <laughs> now, this second line, the one that goes between Acton and Whitehill, we don't have to worry about putting state cars or, um, oh god, the open wagons on there. So we can just easily buy the train and basically have like 10 good wagons on that line. So it's 2.91 million just to buy the locomotive. And let's see, how much are the actual goods wagons? The goods wagons are <laughs> a little less than 400k. Okay, so that's not too bad. Uh, we still will buy that. And let's go ahead and grab the cargo or the goods wagon. I think 80 will work. And how much do you cost? 6.7 that's not too bad um actually going to get rid of two just because i think 64 will be good for the moment and then go ahead and not, before i do set you on a line go ahead and duplicate and set both of you on mexboro distribution line wait a second here did i rename uh, name those incorrectly oh no i didn't rename them incorrectly <laughs> I was just kind of confused. Okay. So those will get moving. 
Okay, let's go ahead and just hop on a board. And let's go ahead and ride this one out. So, I think I am going to leave the episode there. When you come back in the next episode, it will be the beginning of 1922. In the, uh, hopefully by then, both this line and Mexboro Distribution Line 2 will have been making quite over a million dollars in profit as well as numerous other lines but this has been andrew like if uh, like the video if you liked it comment down below if you ha have any comment section uh, suggestions feedback or concerns and i will catch you guys in the next video